the topic of discussion for today's lecture is the histology of liver so in this uh, discussion in this lecture we'll be covering all these things right these are all the things okay now now okay the thing that we need to know initially is okay as you can see what is this this is our liver the largest organ of human body right when we see liver right when we see liver let us take one small piece of liver right and let's magnify it this is the magnified section of liver now what is this this is our hepatic lobules right hepatic lobules now the first thing that we need to know here is the thing that we need to know here is the liver consists of what it consists of dual blood supply now what is this dual blood supply okay if you clearly see right here you will see what you will see here is here you will see what is this you will see these structures this one uh, what is this this is our red structure right here that means it is obviously what is this this is our artery right this is our one structure and another you can see this is our blue structure right now what is this red structure and what is this blue structure this red structure this is our what hepatic artery hepatic artery right and what is this our blue structure this blue structure is our what portal vein right portal vein now what is going on here is as we mentioned that the liver is what the liver is having dual blood supply that means it is having hepatic artery and portal vein now what is the function of hepatic artery and what is the function of portal vein the hepatic artery it simply does what it carries o2 right it carries o2 right it carries o2 and it is the main uh, medium through which the cell of liver are being oxygenized and what is the function of portal vein the the function of portal portal vein is it will carry nutrition right it will carry nutrition that means whatever food thing food material we are ingesting or we are having they will go into what they will go into uh, hepatocytes here you have what hepatocytes all these are hepatocytes right it will go into hepatocytes with the help of what portal vein portal vein will carry all our nutrition right all our what nutrition blood into what into what our hepatocytes and if in that hepatocyte what will happen is what will happen is they will be metabolized and after a metabolization they will be sent into this central vein okay now the thing that we uh, talked right now is we talked about why uh, why our liver has why we are saying that the liver has dual blood supply it, it is having dual blood supply because of what uh, our hepatic artery and portal vein that's why and another important thing that we need to mention right here is we need to mention about duct now what is that duct you can see right here okay you can see right here what is this green structure this green structure is our duct and its name is our what it, its name is bile duct right what is this this is our bile duct okay bile duct now what is this bile duct doing this bile duct it is simply what it is what it is um, it is carrying what it is carrying bile right which are being produced by hepatocytes which are present right here we'll see everything in detail now as you mentioned three structures our hepatic artery portal vein right and bile duct now these you can see this d right a and this v d a v structure what are these these are d a v structure now these uh, these three structures all together it's called our what portal triad right portal triad now what is the meaning of triad triad means three now, what are the three structures that we are talking right here we are talking about hepatic artery right portal vein uh, or and another is our bile duct now this is what this is our portal triad right okay now okay now the thing that we need to do here is now we have to look right we have to look this uh, section in detail right we have to lo look this section in detail as we have already mentioned what is this what is this structure this this blue structure what is this this is our portal vein what is this red structure this red structure is our what hepatic artery and what is this green structure right here this is our what bile duct now what we are doing is we are watching these thing in detail now that is being watched in this diagram okay same story right what is going on is as you can see the red structure what is this red structure it is hepatic artery similarly what is this blue structure this blue structure is our portal vein and what is this our green structure this green structure is our bile ductule bile duct or bile ductule okay now all these three structure together we are forming what portal triad portal triad 
As I mentioned earlier, what is our hepatic artery doing? It is carrying oxygen. As you can see the arrows, it is carrying oxygen, right? It is carrying oxygen to hepatocytes. What is our portal vein doing? The portal vein is carrying nutrition, right? Nutrition through blood, right? M m through blood and m two hepatocytes uh, for being metabolized and they are they are sent to our what? Central vein. Okay. Now, what is our bile duct doing? The bile duct is collecting bile which is being produced by hepatocytes, right? Hepatocyte and they are being carried right here. Now, these three structures are our portal tribe. Okay. Okay. One important thing that I would like to mention right here is, okay, in detail is the branch of portal vein. As you can see, the branch of portal vein, what it is doing is, what it is doing? The, uh, the um, portal vein, it is carrying nutrition, right? It is carrying what? Nutrition. It is carrying nutrition. Um, it is carrying nutrition, and um, these nutrition are sent to what hepatocyte, right? Hepatocytes. Now, in that hepatocyte, what will happen is they will be metabolized, right? Uh, the nutrition will be metabolized. Now, on undergoing metabolism of nutrition, right? Now, this metabolized uh, nutrition are uh, sent to what? They will be sent to central vein, as we have already mentioned. The structure right here, central vein, right? Now, on being sent to central uh, central vein, what will happen is it will give that nutrition to our what? Um, hepatic vein, right? It will give uh, nutrition to our hepatic vein, and these hepatic vein will give to our inferior vena cava. So, this is the fate of nutrition. Okay, now, <coughs> okay, now you can see, right, we mentioned about this structure, this structure, this structure, we mentioned about central vein also, right. Here you can see the blood flow is in this direction, right, arterial flow and ve okay, mm, venous flow also, arterial flow also, bile flow is uh, in this direction, right, in this direction. Now, okay. Now, one important thing that we need to um, study right here is we need to know about these species. What are these species? These species. You can see these are species as you can see, right? These are species. Now, what are these species? Okay. Before getting into species, these are these are what? These are our cells, right? Hepatocytes, right? These are our hepatocytes. Okay. Now, there there are species within. Um, within what hepatocytes and what are these spaces called these species these spaces are called our sin, uh, sinusoids right what are these sinusoids right okay now let us move towards sinusoids now talking about sinusoid the thing that we need to know is okay now let us zoom this area right let us zoom this area let us zoom this area on zooming this area what we will find here is you can see right what is this this is that uh, space that we are talking about that we are talking about right here, right? This is our space. Now here, if you see this space carefully, what you will see is these spaces are what? These spaces are lined by endothelial cells, right? Endothelial cells. But these endothelial cells are not continuous. I mean, there are pores. Okay. What I am going, what I meant to say here is, okay, it is not clear here, but I will show you. Okay. There are pores here. You are, there are pores. There are pores right here right here right here that means the endothelial cells okay these are endothelial okay endothelial cells are right here right here the endothelial cells are not continuous they are having pores or you can say they are having um, they are having fenestrations right pores okay now why they are having fenestration right why they are having fenestration or opening they are having fenestration or opening for the passes of fluid right for the passes of fluid within and out of our sinusoids, right? Within and out of our sinusoids. Now, in these um, in these sinusoids, right? In these sinusoids, what we can see here is we can see coffer cells. Now, what are these coffer cells? These coffer cells are derivative of monocytes. These coffer cells, as you can see, these coffer cells are derivative of monocytes, right? Monocytes. Okay. <coughs> Now, these are derivative of monocytes and what, what is their purpose? Their purpose is phagocytic function. What is their for purpose? Phagocytic function. Okay, phagocytic function. Okay. Now, if you uh, look carefully, what you will see is, you will see pseudopodias, right? In these coffer cells, you will see pseudopodias. Now, what are these pseudopodias doing right here? These pseudopodia are responsible for capturing of antigens antigens right okay 
we talked about what we talked about finished uh, we have to talk about fenestration that are present in endothelial cells right which are covering uh, our sinusoids and we talked about coffer cells that are having what um, um, what are they having they are having pseudopodia for uh, for what capturing our antigens now moving further what we have is uh, what we have is we have a space of dc now what is this space of dc dc the space of dc or we can say perisinusoidal space of dc right we can see perisinusoidal space of dc right this is um, the area right this is the area um, right after the endothelial cells that means since we mentioned that these endothelial cells are having pore or we can say right here we are showing right here pores these pores what they will do is they will carry right they will carry food material from sinusoids to these pre um, what i said is peri sinusoidal space or from peri sinusoidal space to sinusoids okay now another thing that i would like to mention here is there are uh, stellate cells also now what are these stellate cells more precisely these are called stellate cells of what ito now what are these stellate cells of I ito doing these stellate cells of ito they are help in absorption of vitamin A and D and another important thing that we need to memorize right here is these stellar cell they are present where peri sinusoidal space of right DC okay now what we're talking all about we're talking about sinusoids right now what is this structure this is the we're talking about these sinusoids now this structure was this structure okay now in sinusoids we talked about what we talked about uh, coffer cells right having pseudo uh, having what uh, coffer uh, coffer cells what coffer cells were having they were having pseudopodia for the uh, uh, for attack of for attack for antigens we talked about fenestrated fenestrated endothelium right and and then we talked about uh, peri sinusoidal space of dc and we talked about st uh, stellate cells okay we talked about all these things now uh, looking carefully okay uh, through di diagrammatic representation what we can see is okay the thing that we can see is we can see sinusoids right this space is all our sinusoids sinusoids is filled by blood right now what is going on in this sinusoid is this sinusoid is is being what lined by endothelium now here you can see there are what there are pores or fenestration in this what in our endothelium so it is not continuous now as you see okay you can see right here fenestrations right they are responsible for bringing out and taking in of fluids okay now another thing that you can see is you can see coffer cells with pseudopodia right and these coffer cells are what these are monocytes and these are having pseudophoria right you can see right here for what for attacking antigens another thing you can see is you can see peri sinusoidal space and this peri sinusoidal space what they are containing they are containing hepatic stellate cells of ito what these hepatic stellate cell of ito doing they are absorbing what absorbing vitamin a and d that's all right they are absorbing vitamin a and d okay now okay now let us um okay we talked about this diagram we talked about this diagram we talked about this this now let us let us move toward this diagram now what is shown right here okay here what is shown here is you can see okay you can see the first thing that we'll notice right here is we'll notice what is this this is the branch of hepatic portal vein now what is this hepatic portal vein doing this okay this is our hepatic portal vein right this is our hepatic portal vein now what is this hepatic portal um, portal vein doing it will carry nutrition right it will carry nutrition it will carry nutrition nutrition right it will carry nutrition right it will carry nutrition to what it will carry nutrition to our central vein the, here is our central vein right this is our central vein you can see it will carry nutrition to central vein uh, through um, passing through what hepatocytes all these structures you can see these are what these are our hepatocytes right hepatocytes um, now what are hepatocytes doing they are metabolizing the nutrients right nutritions okay now we talked about uh, hepatic portal vein now let us talk about another thing and the another thing is um the the branch of hep branch of hepatic artery proper now what is this branch of hepatic artery proper doing the branch of hepatic artery proper is carrying oxygen right oxygen to hepatocytes now moving toward another structure then another structure is we have is we have bile ductules now what are these bile ductules doing these bile ductules are simply collecting what these are collecting secreted bile right secreted bile now um 
what secretes bile what produces bile is that hepatocytes produce bile okay now the direction of our this portal vein portal vein the direction of portal vein is like this right it will go into what this central vein right central vein and this central vein what it will do it will drain into what it will drain into hepatic vein and hepatic vein will drain into inferior vena cava that's all now talking about the direction of hepatic artery proper it will what it will be also directed toward our this right I'm talking about um, bile ductules the direction of bile ductules will be like this right okay you can see right here it is bile ductules now all these three structure we already talked we talked about what portal triad these things dav structures right dav structures now okay now let us see these things okay we talked about this diagram also let us see things this see these things in description okay talking about liver architecture what we said it is consisting of dual blood supply why we said dual blood supply because it consists of hepatic artery that carries oxygen it consists of portal vein that carries nutrition right and talking about portal triad what are the structure of portal triad we said dav structure hepatic artery portal vein and bile duct that's all talking about central vein right what is the central vein doing it is really receiving nutrition from portal vein what portal vein does is it will carry nutrition and it will send to hepatocytes for metabolism right hepatocyte hepatocytes and these hepatocytes will send the metabolized form into what our central vein that's all now circulation of nutrition that means how the nutrition is circulated first thing we are having food and that food is carried by int intestine right now that intestine the, mm, the food content of intestine it will be uh, carried right by blood um, through what portal vein into hepatocyte and in hepatocyte what will happen they will be metabolized and this metabolized form will be carried to central vein and they will be carried to hepatic vein and finally in systemic circulation they will be carried by inferior vena cava right they will be carried by inferior vena cava now moving further yes we have already mentioned hepatocyte forms bile that's all we talked about hepatic sinusoids also right right in this structure we talked about hepatic sinusoids now we say that hepatic sinusoids are covered by what um, they are surrounded by endothelium that consists of fenestrations right what are the fenestrations in endothelium they are non continuous endothelium similarly why these are why there are fenestration there are fenestration to facilitate facilitate the transfer of content into peri sinusoidal space of dc we already talked about these things right talking about what the content of peri sinusoidal space of dc peri sinusoidal space of dc what is the content it is stellate cell of itu right what is this stellar cell of it you're doing it help in absorption of vitamin a and d that's all now we talked about what coffer cells now what is this coffer cells these are monocytes these are phagocytic in nature this consists of pseudoporia right that airs in capture of antigen similarly right okay they are present in sinusoid that's all now okay we talked about what we talked about these things okay hepatic veins uh, consist of metabolites okay it's all right we talked up to this much now let us move toward the important terms so what are the important terms um we'll be talking about now lobule and acini under that lobule and acini we'll be talking about classical lobule portal uh, lobule and portal acinus now let us move toward that thing okay the first thing is right the first thing is as you can see the initially we'll be talking about classical lobule talking about classical lo lobule right talking about classical lobule what we have is okay this is our classical lobule talking about this thing you can see what is the structure present in center the central vein right now what are the structure present at periphery at the periphery as you can see the structure are our what portal trites so it's simple right as you can see right it is what is the shape of this uh, our classical lobule the shape of our classical lobule is what hexagonal hexagonal right how many sides are there six sides so hexagonal another thing is what is present at the center central vein is present at center similarly right and what is present at the periphery periphery and the portal triad portal triad okay, that is present at the periphery so we talked about what we talked about classical lobule right classical lobule now let us move toward what let us move toward portal lobule now what is all about this portal lobule if you see portal lobule what you will see is it is based on what it is based on bile drainage okay this is our portal lobule why i said that it is based on um, bile drainage because at the center what we have is we have our what a portal triad at the center so at the center center we have portal triad 
Now, what about at the periphery? As at the periphery, you can see periphery, we have what? Central veins, right? Three central veins, you can see, right? Okay, three central veins. So, what is going on? We talked about what? We talked about classical lobule, we talked about portal lobule, classical lobule. What was its shape? Its shape was hexagonal, portal lobule, its shape was triangular in shape. Now, let us move toward another structure, and that is another um, thing, and that is the most widely accepted accepted concept and that is liver acinus now what is this liver acinus as you can see this is what the liver acinus is right now here what is this based on as you can see what is uh, right here we have portal triad what is right here we have portal triad what is right here we have central vein what is right here we have central vein now it is based right it depends upon blood carried by branch of hepatic arteries in the area of our this portal triad, we have what hepatic artery. So, it is dependent upon blood carried by the branch of hepatic artery and portal veins, right at the side, right here, okay, right here. That means, here we have portal triad, we have hepatic artery and portal vein, here also we have the same thing. So, it is based on, mainly it focus on these two structure, right, okay, okay. Now, what it says is, what it says is, as we have said that, uh, these line, it consists of what? It consists, these line consists of what? These line consists of highly vascularized structure or we can say, these, these, the area close to uh, these line will be highly oxygenated because there will be, what? There will be our um, more um, action of our what? Hepatic artery. As we move further, what we will see is that there will be higher chance of ischemia, right? There will be less oxygen in this two region and in three region, we have more, again, more less, right? Okay. Now, let us move toward another diagram. Okay, right here. What we said is, we were talking about what? We are talking about, what we are talking about? We are talking about portal acinus, right? What is this? This is our portal acinus. Now, it is dependent upon what? It is dependent upon these two structures, these and these. What are these structures containing? These structures are containing portal vein and what? Another is our portal vein and another structure is our what? Hepatic artery. Now, in this line, if you see in this line, um, in this line, right? <coughs> this line is the connecting um, link between hepatic arteries, right? Okay, here you can see in the area of 1, you can see uh, these will be high, highly oxygenated area. Why? Because it is near to hepatic artery and arteria is uh, oxygen, that is why. And this area 2, it will be less uh, oxygenized in comparison to area A. And talking about 3 number area, it will be again more or less, right? It will be more or less than that one. Okay, I think now we are a bit clear about these things right here we are talking about what portal acinus now let us move toward the description as you can see right here what we are talking about is we are talking about initially about classical lobule what are the classical lobule these are hexagonal central vein is present at the center and tried at the periphery yes we were talking about what we were talking these things classical lobule right here right these structures that's all now moving toward portal lobule, talking about portal lobule, it is based on bile drainage. Why we are saying this? We are saying this because the central structure was our portal triad and in that portal triad, what was there? There was our bile duct, right? And at the side, we had three central veins as you can see right here, right here, right? It was triangular in shape. So, this is the structure. Now moving further, what we have is we have portal acinus. This is widely accepted concept and what is going on here is depend upon blood carried by branch of hepatic artery and portal vein. Yes, we are talking about these, right? Hepatic artery and portal vein, that is all. Now, at the side we have sent, um, um, at the side we have central vein on, on one side, right? Okay, you can see at the side, what do we have? We have central veins, portal troid on the other side, here we have, right? Diagonally, this is the diagonal, okay. Now, what is going on is, these, these here, the area that we um, already discussed, this will talk about what? The zone of ischemia or toxic injury. How? The area 1 as we already discussed, the nearmost area to um, connecting link between what? Hepatic artery. This will be highly oxygenated because it is close to hepatic artery. It will be more affected by toxins. Why? Because that blood stream will carry what? Toxins. If the blood stream will carry toxin, then they will first what? They will first be assessed to this area number 1. That's all. Now, talking about area number 2, it is less oxygenated and less affected by toxin. It is obviously sure because it is a little bit far from what? 
hepatic artery right talking about the area number three we have least oxygenated blood and it is least affected by toxin that's all i think you are all we are all clear about this concept so now let us recap what we studied right okay okay let us recap through this diagram okay now what we have is talk, looking toward what our hepatic lobule how is our hepatic lobule it is hexagonal in shape right it consists of an anastomosing anastomosing plate of hepatocyte right hepatocytes now between hepatocytes uh, plate of hepatocyte we have sinusoids as we already said at the center we have central vein at the corner we have portal triad the component of portal triad are our what dav structures dav structures branch of hepatic artery and portal vein uh, flows into what sinusoid and drain into central vein yes we talked about these things earlier what is the central structure is our central vein you can see the green structures what are these green structures these are hepatocytes now what is going on is the um, from this port you can see this is our portal triad now portal triad consists of what hepatic artery and portal vein and their direction will be this direction of flow of blood right and what is going on is okay and anastomosing plate of hepatocyte as you can see right here here it is showing the anastomosis we talked about what we talked about portal lobule triangular in shape right triangular in shape and in, um, and at the periphery we have central veins at the center we have portal triad it is mainly based upon what bile duct okay that's all now talking about hepatic uh, right um talking about okay hepatic ascinus what we have is we have what we have it is mainly based upon word hepatic artery and hepatic vein and we have it periphery but diagonally located where we have central vein right the area one is so close it is more oxygenated and less um, it is more oxygenated and more um, what more close to toxins and area two number it is less lesser and three number comparative comparatively more lesser talking about portal lobule and hepatic acinus right it is triangular in shape it is diamond in shape we forgot to mention the shape of what our hep hepatic vaccine is central vein is periphery in the case of portal lobule the space between adjacent hepatocytes supplied by branch of portal vein and hepatic artery right <music>